What's up, everybody? Today is April 9th, 2021. We're on our way to the Brown Hotel in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. Um, never played the Brown before. It's a venue I've been wanting to play at for quite some time now. We're not going to be in the main ballroom, the Crystal Ballroom. This wedding was originally supposed to be there, and they were originally supposed to have about 300 people. But with COVID, and they had to move their wedding two or three times, I do believe, they finally just said, screw it. Let's just have a really small wedding. So we're looking at a micro-sized wedding here, about 30 guests in total. So I'm only furnishing music for the ceremony, for cocktails, and for dinner. And then the three main dances. But there's not going to be any dancing other than that. There's not going to be like a big dance party. So don't expect a whole lot of footage from this particular wedding. I'm really there just filling in some, some ambiance. And allowing uh, voice amplification because they're going to be using the microphones for some toasts and speeches. So very, very low key, very, very uh, on the down low type event today. This is the only event that I have this weekend. We don't have anything Saturday or Sunday. Next weekend, we have got two weddings. I've got my DJ Chris at the Melwood Art Center in the Van Gogh Room. We were there last year and I'll be at Ashford Acres doing a wedding. And um, you're gonna be getting all those gig logs, of course. I don't know if Chris is gonna take any footage. I'm gonna ask him to, and that way he can send it to me and I can intermingle it in. His setup will be you know, very different. He's got a four-door car, so he can't do the rolling booth stuff. But all my clients that have Chris scheduled that were postponements from last year that overlapped on dates already had booked are already aware of that situation. Stay tuned, a lot more to come. All right, we are all set up. I'm gonna turn you around to show you all we got going on for this micro wedding today. All right, here you go. Very, very simple setup. We got the Elite Pro Booth 65S. That is the model number for that one, which features a Samsung smart TV instead of a regular like TCL or a more generic brand. So that one's an upgrade. Um, we have the LD Systems uh, Maui 28 G2s. Two of those, that's it. Nothing else. Uh, some up lighting around the room. We got 12 fixtures all together. Those will be on a little later. We're just gonna go with like an amber color to match the gold. Looks good. I have another laptop skin on the way for my uh, laptop here. And then my skin is on the way for my controller as well. Make it, it'll be all white and then my logo will be on the platters. And that's what it looks like, kind of packed up. I got everything stored in there, including my shirt and tie. I'm gonna put on a little later. And then this laptop usually controls the lighting, but I'm not gonna do any kind of DMX lighting tonight. So it just has all the planning material for this particular wedding and their music list and a timeline. So just rolling that laptop doing that and then this one over here has virtual DJ on it. Now we're going to go outside and we're going to check out the ceremony system. So here we are we're doing a rooftop ceremony today as you can tell not a lot of people I think 30 at the very max and I think that's even including vendors so not a whole lot like I said earlier this was supposed to be a pretty big wedding and they had to move it so many times they finally just threw their arms up and said you know let's just do something small we'll do something big later <laughs> so ceremony sound systems tucked over here in the corner very simple I got a ZLX 12P I've got the NOPAL WM333 lavalier system just running one mic and then I've got uh, the tablet that'll be running the music but other than that, extreme, extremely simple setup. But, you know, look at that view. It looks awesome. So we're actually facing the river. Now the river is just on the other side of those buildings. 4th Street Live is down there. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. 4th Street Live is way down there. looks amazing wow you can even see the East End bridge from here it looks awesome it's gonna be a very pretty ceremony right. 
this is the crystal ball room. This one is one of my goals. I want to play in here so bad. To uplight it. And I know my setup will just pop in this room. I know it's a lot of off-whites. But I've yet to score a wedding in this one. By the size of that stage, it looks like they're going to have a band. This is where Ashley and Aaron were supposed to get married. Or at least held the reception was in this ballroom here. But COVID just... We had to shift a lot of stuff around. Yeah, this looks awesome.